The next person I'd like to bring out is Sean Casey. He's the CEO and founder of Social Guide. Uh, and we'll uh, have a little chat and also um, Sean will tell us and show us exactly what Social Guide is doing. Hey Sean, how are you? Good to see you. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. Good. So let's cut to the chase. What yep. are you doing? What is, what is this stuff? Uh, social Guide is a company that was founded last year, and what we do is we capture the social activity that's happening around linear broadcast across 220 channels, every program aired. In the last 12 months, we've captured half a billion tweets from 22 million unique users, and we've matched those tweets to over 30,000 unique TV programs. How, well, Actually, I can't wait to, to, to take a look at it. Um, I want to make sure, though, that you also, this is, a, this is a cable audience, right? So in terms of programmers, you've got MSOs, you have technology providers, all of them part of the ecosystem. I'd love for you, before the end, um, perhaps align where you think your product um, provides value to, say, the programming community. Yep or to the service operators or on the tech industry? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, we're capturing big data um, about TV um, sharing behavior. And uh, we have products for everybody across the TV industry. We sh um, just came out with a product called Social Guide Intelligence, which I'm going to show you. Right. Um, and that product is really geared towards uh, networks and agencies. So they can measure and see in real time now uh, the social activity that's happening around programs. Um, and then for operators, cable companies and satellite companies, we um, have API solutions. So they can get at our real-time um, social data that we're capturing. Right. Um, we think social is going to play a very important role in consumers' discovery um, in the very near future. Are you working directly right now with any MSOs? Uh, no, in conversations with MSOs, but our API solutions are being used by a social TV checking company called Viggle. Oh, sure, okay. So we power a lot of the uh, Twitter content that appears on their app. That appears on Viggle's app? Yep. Okay. And how about advertisers in the advertising community? Direct relationships with them? Uh, no, we work directly with the networks um, right now. So okay. A&E Networks, ABC Family, and True TV are our current clients. The product just launched about a month ago. Congratulations on the Thank launch, you. by the way. Thanks. Can we take a look yeah, at sure. it? Yeah, sure. So what I wanted to show first was um, a, a real-time feature um, as part of our social guide intelligence application is uh, a real-time social guide. Um, and what our social guide does is it takes the EPG and turns it into an SPG, a social programming guide. So uh, right now, it's not the best time for TV right now, um, but uh, these are the shows that are trending right now um, across television. So um, uh, we're looking at an East Coast view. You can also toggle to uh, see what's trending on the Pacific view. Um, so out of all the shows that are on TV, there are a lot of people talking. It's, you know, it's uh, 2 in the afternoon, but there's still a lot of people talking about TV. Um, so uh, we're looking for the social activity that's happening around these TV shows across 220 networks. So we think this could offer uh, cable companies or consumers a uh, different alternative view to an EPG um, in terms of discovering something to watch. Now with 1,500 channels, EPGs, you cannot scroll through them. And what this SPG does is it um, surfaces what are the most popular things from social media that are on my TV. Um, and also you can um, sort by genre. So what are the top series, reality shows, movies, sports, and news? Um, last night uh, during prime time, we saw about 250,000 concurrent users. Um, on any given day, we're capturing data from about uh, a million to three million people um, that are tweeting basically about the TV that they're watching. So, so um, how do you see other ways of potentially monetizing the data that's being captured here? 
Um, well, second screen, as, as Joan said, the, the second screen is becoming a very, very important piece where the consumer is becoming very engaged. Um, and we're trying to answer what is really engaging for the, the consumer to look at when they're having a second screen experience. And we think that has to do with um, not only what everyone in the audience is saying about a TV show, but what are the stars saying about a TV show? And we can deliver that through our API. Um, you know, when you're watching a sporting event, what are the beat writers who are covering the sporting event saying? We've kind of scaled that for all of TV, all sports, all series. How does this align, and maybe it's orthogonal right now, but I'm wondering if it gets, how does, how does this align with, say, traditional ratings of these same shows and networks? Yeah, uh, definitely uh, there is some alignment, um, but uh, what we're finding is that reality shows skew um, higher socially. Sports events especially, um, our data shows us that sports events in any given month constitute about 2% of all TV programming, but make up about 50% of social activity. And Sean, where do you see the product roadmap for this particular product or service or any, any additions? What's next on this? Um, well, we're about to launch um, a real-time view, um, which we wanted to show you. Cool. So I'll just click, actually I'll go into Sports Center. Having a little internet problem, live demos. It's okay. Um, so what, but from a roadmap standpoint, yeah. we're uh, now delivering uh, real-time visibility into the social audience um, so a network can directly engage with very high-value targets. When you're getting uh, you know, up to 2,000 tweets per minute, um, the network wants to begin engaging, and that's the power of Twitter, that it allows the network to directly engage with their audience in real-time. And that's the platform that we're Wait, trying so to build. So while someone's watching, while the audience is actually watching the show, based on the data that you're going to be collecting dynamically and then providing back in real time, they're going to tweet. They're going to be creating tweets or any other kind of so directly to. Ah, yeah. the, they're doing it already. And the next step is how can they bring their sponsors, their advertisers on, and add them to the conversation? Okay, potentially even synchronized to different points or concepts or or issues or elements that's in the programming? Yep, exactly. Anyone announce something oh, along sorry. those lines already? Finally, here we, uh, let's see if this comes up. Okay. And uh, I have to ask the sorry. requisite question when we're doing this. You're a privately held company? Uh, yes, All right. currently. And based where? Uh, we're based in, in Brooklyn, New York. Okay. Uh, so here is the uh, real-time dashboard. Um, a network can look and see you know, the social activity for the program that's on now that was just aired or that's coming up next. Um, these are real-time social stats, uh, collecting the number of uniques that are talking about the TV program, the percent share of total voice, uh, the number of comments, the percent share of comments, tweets per minute, where it ranks in our guide, and where it ranks in its genre. And then we have a real-time graph. Um, so this is a visualization that updates every five seconds and shows what uh, the social activity that's happening for this TV show. So in real time now, a, uh, each of these boxes represents a tweet. And you can click on that tweet see what the user is saying, and as the network, you can directly engage with your audience in real time. The boxes are color-coded, which allows the network to know who are their high-value targets. So uh, looking at an orange box, um, you know, has a higher followers uh, ranking. Um, and so these are tweets um, above this line, the gray boxes and the orange boxes, and below are tweets coming from the network and their cast accounts. So they can see in real time as they're tweeting out, um, you know, yeah. what, uh, how their tweets are affecting uh, the fans' tweets. This is extremely cool. Last question, I sure. know we've run out of time, is uh, 
And you said this is a beta? This, uh, this is just launching into beta this week. This week, okay. Yep. Um, very cool. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's give, uh, let's give Sean Thanks. a hand.